Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. Now it is still early November. I did go out and quickly do a cultivating contract. I think I remembered to get a screenshot, so I'll pop that up now, but I think that earned us about four, four and a half grand maybe. What did it Yeah, something like that. It was it wasn't a massive amount. We're now sitting at twenty seven grand anyway. It is still the same day, uh, but it is not my same day. And uh, last night, I had a little this morning, got a little feedback, and it was from Cavalier Roy, and he was saying, you know, he thinks I should get some cows um, and get working on them, because they do take time to mature, and uh, we can be working on our grass while they mature, which, you know, <laughs> is a very valid point. And by the time I've saved up enough to buy more cows, we'll have to wait even longer before we get anything from them. So since that is the main feedback I've had on what to do with the farm, I'm going to follow it. But first of all, <laughs> the contradictory thing that I do, we're going to cut some more grass. Now I am at um, our meadow that we had that's next to our field. So our first two actual meadows, not animal pens, that we rolled I'm going to cut them, because they would have been ready now, whereas everything's ready because I had to do the reset of the map. But this one would be ready, so this we're going to cut. And if I go around the other side, we're going to cut this one as well. And then we're going to load... We'll, we'll roll this up. We're not going to ted it. We're going to roll it up, and uh, we'll load that up and empty it into one of our silage clamps. Uh, probably round by the larger of the cow barns, we'll use that one first. And we'll get some silage on the go. We'll then look to get some cows. We'll probably have to pay to get them delivered, because that'll probably work out cheaper than trying to lease something. Because uh, I'm going to want about 20 cows, which is going to take up pretty much all my money. But then we'll be on the road to being an actual dairy farm. So let's jump back in the Massey. We shall uh, open up the mower. Nice and easy, lovely job. And we have had some more mower options arrive recently, so uh, I don't know whether we'll just stick with what we've got or whether we should look to uh, change out again. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this and anything we get is going to be much the same but this is very much base game equipment let's get the mower going so uh, we'll uh, we'll drive around the edge we've got plenty of room so we've only got the side mower initially the farm came with the front mower and the back um, butterfly mowers um, I didn't feel that we so we had the uh, the larger equipment to do that so uh, I went I sold them and uh, I got just the side mower probably not the smartest move in many people's books but it's, it's what I went for and it helped us to get a little bit more money back as well because things are tight here we don't have a lot financially we've got a fair old bit of land and you know it'll it just takes time to work it to get the money out of it. But it will come. Try and cut in. So yeah, we're gonna be mowing today. It's fine, it's not a, it's not a bad job a bit of mowing. Fortunately not bailing, that's my favourite job, but we're not bailing. We had fun with our little baler last time around, and like I say, I wanna do some silage and um I don't think we can wrap the small bales anyway. And if we can, I think that would be uh, quite a long and tedious job again. If we can get something to help feed. And then with the, uh, the grass from our meadows, we'll probably cut that next month if it hasn't died off in December. Hopefully it won't have died off. And uh, we can cut that, and I, I either use that for grass or a combination of grass and hay. 
because we'll have our clamp closed. I don't want to use both clamps at the same time. Uh, we'll wait until we're much bigger before we've got both in. We'll have like a first cut and a second cut clamp. We'll try and run it a little bit realistic in that manner. I don't think we have the uh, advanced clamps mod. Not that I've come across it yet where you can open it and add to it. Uh, that does reset its ferment state, but then if you have a have a little uh, cut later on, you can get that in there. We had it on 19. I had it installed, but I don't think I ever used it. I was going to use it on the uh, start from scratch, but <laughs> never got that far. Maybe later on in FS22 Life, we'll do another um, survival series start from scratch on No Man's Land. I really enjoyed that map but on 19. A crazy amount of hours on it on PC and on console. I might bring back uh, an old thing that I did on 19. We'll see. If you've been following me for a while, you might know what I'm th talking about. If you haven't, then you might be in for a treat. But feel free to go back through my old content and see what things I've done with No Man's Land. going to try and crack on with this. We've only got the afternoon and it is November so we'll probably start to get dark about five o'clock so we've only, only got four hours to get this mode and done. So uh, for now I'll shut up, we'll get on with it and uh, I'll see you back in a bit. of our first field mode we are going to roll straight into our second field no messing about get these jobs done and uh, hopefully we get through here hopefully give ourselves enough time in the day to get the rowing at least done some of it in our clamp and our cows purchased so uh, I'll shut my pie hole and uh, we'll put the music back on
already uh, quarter past three, and uh, I feel like the sun is getting low. I'm going to start losing light pretty early. I'm not sure how much raking we're going to get done. Hopefully we'll have a chance to get some. But I think uh, rather than going straight into raking next, we're going to look into purchasing a few of them cows. Need to get this finished. Apologise if the time lapse is a little bit, I'd say, jumpy. <laughs> My son is choosing not to sleep well tonight, so he's uh, up and down like a yo yo. So I have to keep going back and settling him, which means a little pause in the record. I'm sure those of you with families understand that. get done, we will get this finished. Only a few more passes in the grass. I think we're going to get quite a bit off here. It looks like it's uh, a lot of grass on here. Some of it looks really thick, which uh, would be nice. Methods were a little uh, unconventional. It's never, never always certain what the best way around a field we cut. I try and do it so I drive over what I've cut rather than drive over what I'm going to cut. Depending on the shape of the field and, and things like that, it's not always easy. I know you shouldn't necessarily just keep going round and round and round. A bit of everything and appease, appease everyone or no one. That's, uh, you probably shouldn't try and appease everyone. You can't do it anyway, ever. I don't know, some people sort of comment and they always just say, oh, just do what you want to do, just do you, and then you'll have someone else, oh no, you must do it this way. But that is the field cut. Our grass, our meadows, they are ready. Like I say, we're going to rake them. Uh, row it up. Get it with the loader. We'll get this detached and we'll head to our... It's going to be our dairy. Um, barn, meadow. Just around here. like the uh, the narrowness and the challenge of it I mean it's not overly challenging but it's, it's in comparison to uh, look out the other way they have um, the likes of Ube and um, the American one that I don't play is uh, definitely closed off oh no not that one thank you very much Okay, so we shall jump out. I just want to check the cost of um, having it transported. Because if not, we would have to lease something. So what I'm thinking, obviously at 200, they are, they are calves. But they can't produce milk until they're a year and a half. These are a year old. These are a year and a half. So I think I'm going to buy 10 a year. Thinking. If I. Uh, so that's 800 pounds. Can I keep that and come out? I can. Then I might go with brown Swiss as calves. I think I might do that and have them delivered. I 
I think for the time it'll take to do a lease and for the cost of the lease and what have you. For now, that'll be our 20 cows and they'll be growing. We'll have, in six months time, we'll have uh, 10 cows that are ready to either carve themselves and uh, start producing milk and we'll have some that are on their way. And then hopefully we can introduce another 10 and another 10 as we uh, build up the finances and as they reproduce. That's what I'm thinking. So we are going to buy 10 of those. That's 11,800 in total. And then 10 of these at uh, 2,500. So what's that? 13, 14,200 in total. Not bad. And if we go over and have a little look. We've got cows in our meadow. And because um, Cavalier Roy has done custom meadows, mapped them out, the cows will walk and graze, I wish they did graze, throughout the whole of the meadow, rather than just in a square box, which is absolutely brilliant. Look at them laying in the long grass. We'll, uh, we'll come and cut their grass next. I think that's best we do that. We'll cut theirs. Uh, not next as in next job, but next as in uh, next time around. I think what we do need to do is certainly get them some feed. Water we don't have to worry about. The large pens are plumbed in. It's part of the daily cost open both gates. We do have our um, loader wagon that's got grass in. So we'll do that. I think that's the uh, I think that's one of the big misses that Giants have done in FS22 of not adding grazing. With grazing animals, the fact that you have to go out there and cut the grass to feed it to them when they could just graze and eat it you know, I think it's getting silly now. It should be something that's easily implemented. But nonetheless, as I often say, it is what it is. And we shall deal with it. Now, we won't get any manure from these because we've not got no straw for bedding. Not yet. But hopefully, they will... Uh, it's just a little bit of slurry. We can eventually build that up so we can do um, fertilising with it. Need to get a slurry tank. Oh, getting a bit excited on my brake that we're reversing. Let's be unload. Not sure how much they'll take. Got 20, you know, small and medium cows. They might take all of this though. Not a lot of grass in there, but it's enough to uh, see them through for a day or two, I think. Hopefully, anyway. Let's have a little look at our animal screen. So that brings us to 40% uh, on grass. That's not a lot at all. We may uh, chuck a little bit of uh, hay in there as well. Now, since I've moved them, the uh, smaller bales that weren't full probably aren't at the front now. We'll uh, get a few. So they are so eight thousand, eight and a half thousand each. But we're going to struggle, aren't we? I've got my weight on the front. Forgot about that. We'll have to do these one at a time. Hopefully, yeah, drop this in, and that'll all be good. I've not uh, done any sort of animals yet, so this is uh, well, apart from a few chickens. I'm hoping when I hooked wrong. Oh no, it did take it. 
marvellous. Right. Let's get a few more in here. Hopefully we can pick them up nice and easy. They're coming off the stack. They have got to be perfect. That's when they go in the stack. You want them looking good. It doesn't start to unload as you hang over. It is just as you come off. Didn't come off too well there, did it? Still very much struggling with the angle on this. Something like that. Right. So it's at 8, 16, 17,000 litres. So I'm not sure how many days uh, a full one lasts. It used to be 6, 6, 9, something like that. go with the free bales and the grass we've got and uh, I'll just have to keep an eye on each day say we'll do silage with what we have uh, with what we cut might top the grass up with that as well and then we'll cut some more grass for hay So I need to uh, get the loader fork off, need to get the spike off, get our wind roller attached. It's now, is it 20 past four? I think we'll have enough time. I hope we do. I don't like working in the dark. So let's uh, detach. Detach. Give ourselves a bit of space to turn around. We can, sir. It's on. job. Try and get out without smacking the tether about. Or clipping on anything else for that matter. So it is easier that the uh, rubbish has gone from the side there. As I said it just it just happened as I transferred the uh, the old files onto the new save. But I would have uh, cut that down and removed them anyway. So we'll head over to the first field we cut. Where the shadow was cast, I thought, oh my god, that's turned into hay on its own, but it don't dry anyway. It just looked so much... Uh, so much drier. Drier. Right, let's get this unfolded. And to be fair, we've got a half decent working width, and we can do this, I think, at quite a pace. So it shouldn't take too long. Say at quite a pace, 8 miles an hour. Maybe not at the pace I thought. It may even be a little bit... A little bit too big for the Massey. I think the Massey is 100 horsepower on this, I can't recall. Uh, we haven't been in the John Deere for a while, so we need to try and get some, uh, get some hours in on that. like to try and uh, get them used equally. Uh, just then looking at our finances after the purchases, down to just under 13 grand, which isn't overly healthy. Um, I'm not sure what our monthly outgoing cost is. Uh, I might have a look at that before we leave for the day. 
see how many days we can roll over before going into debt. I want to try and avoid taking a loan out. I know it's not the worst thing. And if we took a loan out, we could buy a lot of cows. But then we'd really need to smash that grass. Or buy bales. Which can start to get expensive in itself. As to what sort of return you'd see on that if you were to buy bales with a loan. <laughs> Doesn't seem good to me. I do wish that wasn't there. <laughs> I'd much rather be looking over my left shoulder. You can't really see much. Is that part of like a window fitting or something? I'm not sure what that. Oh, it's the window wiper. It's the motor for the window wiper. Ah, we don't need that. So anyway, I shall uh, crack on with this and uh, we'll see what the light is looking like when we get to the end. that field road was the time so I took the HUD off to take a uh, screenshot Half past five well I think we're going to call that an end for today's video but I shall go off and I shall uh, row the next field I'll get that ready I may go off and do a contract in the dark because we need money and you guys don't want to see me working in the dark and tomorrow morning, first thing, we'll get the load and wagon on the back of probably the John Deere for a change. And we'll get these all picked up and put in a silage clamp. And then we'll look into probably getting more hay ready. So if you've enjoyed today's video, and I hope you have, please give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, to find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.